Ready for the event. <laughs> Four screens. The teach kids there too. That's how we do it, baby. I really started looking at YouTube videos because I was really into fitness. It probably doesn't look like it now because I'm paralyzed from chest down. I can't, I don't look as good as this guy. But <laughs> nonetheless, he's a really cool guy. You know, uh, he's, are you guys into fitness? Yeah? yeah? All right. I am. <laughs> Very nice. So, you know, as you can tell, he's giant and huge. Uh, but, you know, he's ranked number one in the world. He's an IFBB Pro Champion. Um, he's a ballroom dancer, if you guys can't tell from the videos. Um, and he's an author, he's a businessman. But, you know, he's, if you guys have never watched any of his videos, they're so inspirational, and uh, I think you guys are going to like it. So, here's Nick Scott. that you can achieve anything, that you've got to believe in yourself. Because when I was facing these guys, I put in a mindset that I'm a warrior, that I will beat you, that I am a warrior standing inside the dragon's dip in the middle of the night, but naked. And I'm ready. I'm ready to go in for the dragon. And I will come out with the dragon's head. You know why? Because I believe in myself. And the cave is also handicap accessible. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'm fierce. I'm mean. I don't take no for an answer. I keep striving. But most people fear me. They don't want to come up to me. But the reality is, I'm a lover. <laughs> it's my baby lucky. <laughs> when I go home, he's like, oh. <laughs> and I just got him. And he's like, boo, 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 boo. <laughs> And you guys are animal lovers too. And you get up the ball to the puppy to be him. He's so cute. <laughs> and I know what you guys are thinking. It's like, Nick, we're not as lucky as you. Nick, we're not as good looking as you. <laughs> as handsome as you are. <laughs> but it wasn't always like that. I was just like everybody else. I was a kid in school. High school, that wanted to be a big football star. Just like everybody else, because something happened. I was in some football practice when I was 16 years old. My left front tire blew out. I rolled my vehicle five and a half times. Right before it hit, it's true, time slowed down. It slowed down to the point where I knew I was going to hit. I closed my eyes and I, I said to the Lord, I'm in your hands now, and I loosened my grip. And I hit. And I felt myself going around in circles. And all I could hear was a shot of glass and a crushing metal. And the next thing you know, I opened my eyes, I was looking at the sky. Oh, yes. I, uh, I want to be uh, a big band club owner in New York and Chicago. Big band club owner in New York and Chicago. Okay. And as you just listen to them, as we're, she likes golf, she likes to coach people, he likes baseball, he likes criminal justice. He wants to be a big band club owner, and she likes his fitness. If you listen to who you are, now swap the people. Would you want to become a police officer? Do you even like the idea of being a cop on the streets, or a criminal, or you know, Navy SEAL, or anything like that? <laughs> Not a criminal. <laughs> you know, I just gotta, I just gotta go with it. <laughs> Can you see yourself being a golf coach? No. The point I'm trying to get at, if you just become who you like becoming, there's a niche for that. And that's your gift to this world. Because if you try to become somebody that you're not, you're working a nine to five job, and you're looking for retirement, and you spend the rest of your life hating who you are, it's very simple. Whereas I felt like I had no choice, I just chose the only choice I thought I had. You guys have all the choices in the world, and some of you guys feel like you're lost and confused, but it's very simple. Just look inside your heart, because when you decide with your heart, you can never go wrong. Because in the end, if you go against your heart, you're going to hate who you are. Because in the end, you're going to regret the choices that you made, 
Because inside something always digging at you. There's a light, there's a fire that guides in each one of you guys. You guys are just afraid to listen to it. Because if you choose that, that destiny, if she thought her friends hated that whole golf thing, she would be scared. But she stood up and she wanted to be a golf coach. She likes golf. She's not afraid. By her just being who she is, she shows the others that it's okay to be who they are. So when she goes to the golf course and the golf thing, she goes with confidence because she likes who she is. Confidence is a simple fact that you just like who you are. Because what's going to happen is I challenge you. I challenge you tomorrow. What if you die tomorrow? And as you laid in the coffin, as you laid in the ground, how would you feel if your soul of talent was standing above you? Your souls of your skills, your souls of your destiny was looking above you, looked down upon you, saying, you did this to us. You killed us. You could have been amazing, but you were too scared. You were too scared to be who you're destined to be. Because what happens is, if you choose a life that you like to be, that's your greatest asset to give to this earth, to this world. Because if you're afraid, there is nothing but false evidence appearing real. It's a wall. It's an illusion. It's because you're scared. You're scared that other people are going to judge you. Because what if you take that chance? What if you go through that door and somebody says, oh, you're not good enough. You're going to fail. But there's no such thing as failure. There's no such thing. Because failure is what we think what other people think of us. If we don't succeed with the amount of money that people think, that's what you put in your head. Because we put limits on the things what we own. Same thing we get taught in school. The coach says there's no I in team. But the player's like, well, there's a me, coach. And some say there's a hidden I in the A. Well, I'm telling you guys, you tell your coach, coach, there's two I's in winning. And you tell your coach, in order to have a winning team, you have to be an I player. Because coach, I gotta be the best that I can be and develop my skills to be the best that I can be so I can be the best and be the greatest so I can bring that to the team. In order to have a winning team, you have to be an I player, which means be the best that you can be for the team to lead by example, to show your teammates that you can achieve greatness. If you can do it, it gives them guidance in a dark tunnel, in a dark path, that they can do it too. Wheelchair Athletics Foundation is a 501c3 nonprofit that provides and supports disabled athletes. Please support our cause. Volunteer, donate funds, mail items for the eBay store.